What's going on guys, it's your boy Prowler, and yes, it is actually Prowler, it's not a mistake, and today I'm back on the mic. It's been a while for some good and bad reasons, I might get into that, might not. But anyways, what you guys are watching is 100 plus solo non-lethal 66 on the app Hydreact. I think I get like a double nuclear or something, but that's not important. I also get like 4 quad feeds, which is pretty cool. And yeah, so I'm not going to tell a story, uh, I'm going to kind of, you know, go around and just mainly talk and I'm, I'm gonna get into why I'm doing that in a second here but that could have been a really nice quad if I would have reloaded but I didn't so anyway let's get started here advanced warfare comes out the t fourth or fifth now comes out the fourth uh, days is the third and I'm getting my Xbox on the 20th so it's pretty cool and what I'm gonna be doing for advanced warfare is a little bit different mainly what I'm gonna be focused on is not just pub stuff in general but I'm gonna be focused on a lot of different aspects here on this channel one in gaming and my personal channel Mainly what it's going to be is breaking stuff down, strategy, stuff like that, because that's really basic and it's really going to help a lot of people. I'm not going to show you guys camping spots or rushing routes or whatever like that. Maybe a little bit of that, but not camping spots for certain, but Advanced Warfare looks pretty good, pretty hectic, and one thing I've been able to do throughout my Call of Duty career is make the game fast-paced, and that's going to be what Advanced Warfare is. I watch a lot of videos. Uh, they put one on the dashboard uh, about a, a day ago or two or whatever. And it turned out that everyone said it was really fast paced. I don't know if you guys played sports or anything, but certainly when I'm playing Black Ops 2, I'll, I'll tie into this in a second. Um, I hate playing games slow. Um, I hate when stuff is slow whenever I'm like running or anything like that. I can't run at a slow pace or like jog because it gets so tedious and it makes my body hurt even more. So I usually like sprinting, but I play baseball so I don't really have to run like a mile or stuff like that. It's mainly just short sprints and stuff. So. Uh, I like to make it as hectic as possible, you know, go as fast as possible. Even when I'm tired, I'd start pressing, and sometimes that could be bad, and other times it could be good. But I like making the game really fast, and that this is fast, that's just great for me. And also, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how you match up to players, because um, if you guys played any sports, you know, like basketball or something, or like if you played in gym class, other sports, and you're kind of like matching up to the people you're going to defend or whatever, uh, and you see that you got like some huge... Uh, giant black guy or whatever that looks like they're amazing at basketball. Sometimes they're not, sometimes they are, but typically with uh, Black Ops 2, not Black Ops 2, but Call of Duty in general and stuff like that, uh, typically it's a name, a rank, a KD, anything like that. That's not stuff you can see in real life, but um, as you're looking at them, you know, just their appearance as their name, as their emblem, as their player card, you know, that actually has a lot to represent about a player. So when you're looking at that and you see that uh, it's pretty much you and him are the only good people in this lobby, you're like, man, this is a game now. Like, now I'm defending this, like, NBA caliber player. I really have to step my game up. And that's what I've been able to do a couple times on Call of Duty. And that's why making the game faster kind of works out for me. Is because if you play slow against these people, you're not going to win. So I might be tired or whatever uh, playing a game. And I might not be wanting to play, you know, try hard, uh, whatever. Sometimes you may not even be able to play a game uh, in sports or anything like that. And then you have to defend his kid or whatever you have to guard him and that's kind of how uh, Call of Duty works you have to go against this kid otherwise you will lose if you don't defend him he's gonna completely go off so you got to kind of match up to your players and you know you got to go with them so even when you're tired even when you're not you got to step up your game you got to be inspired to win and you if you don't want to win you know that's fine but it's always great winning so when you're in Call of Duty there's another quad feed that's just amazing I don't know how good the timing is on this it's probably gonna be sped up a little but who cares? I don't know if the quad feed's going to be before or after this, but... Um, when you're in Advanced Warfare, you may be playing against six-man parties. You may not. Day Zero, you probably are. Uh, sorry to say, but you most likely will be playing against six-man parties. But uh, no matter what you're playing, uh, you always got to step up and be able to win. So what I'm going to be doing in 2014, the end in 2015, is I'm going to really step up for winning gaming. Uh, we have a lot of good things planned, and I'm kind of... I'm now, like, officially, like, officially... I don't know, officially, yeah, three officially, that's pretty official, but uh, officially, yeah, there's another one, yeah, I'm probably going to say it again, I'm going to try not to, but I'm now, uh, not, a, uh, never mind, I'm now co-leader or leader, whatever you want to say, so I'm going to be working with Pat a lot, I already did, but uh, I was a member, so, uh, it's, pro it's coming up on my one year anniversary, so I'm going to be doing something for that as well. So, what we have planned is a lot. We're going to be breaking down gameplays for you guys. We're going to be breaking down videos, showing you guys how to get better at the game. Because you, moving forward, it's not gonna, just going to be about the gameplays and, you know, being mindless, just going around and getting gameplays like this. It's going to be breaking them down, teaching, and that's what we want to do. 
Uh, that's what I want to do, and that's what our team wants to do, certainly. And if no one wants to, you know, that's fine. Uh, they can go on and do their own thing. Uh, no offense to them or any offense to anybody who doesn't want to do that, but you're not you're being selfish there. You're not taking one for the team. And, you know, you got to be able to do this to move forward and prosper, and that's certainly what we're going to be doing. So expect a lot of breakdowns and stuff like that coming up on Advanced Warfare. It's not only going to be focused on the gameplays from now on. And you guys might have seen that moving forward in advance war uh, towards Advanced Warfare. Is we're not posting as many insane gameplays. Uh, as much as it may be fun to watch them. But to be honest, I'm seeing views on these go down and down. Unless it's like a world record or anything like that. And so we don't really want to do that. And stuff I've learned throughout uh, my time in this community is it doesn't really matter about that. It's more of you know what you do to impact the community. And that could be in a good or bad way. But we're going to be helping a lot of people. We're going to be uh, moving forward in the entertainment category. Uh, producing directors and content creators for the future. As well as being able to get gameplays. But we want everyone on this team to be able to commentate. And you know have a personality. Not just be a mindless fool who can only get gameplays. And I've seen a couple of those guys in the past. And I've had to experience with them. So it's always good to me to be able to do a commentary. I know I'm not the best. But it's a skill I had to learn in order to be successful because if you're gonna have a channel create content you need to be able to do it yourself you can't rely on other people and sometimes I can't and that's why I'm not able to do it consistently but hopefully in Advanced Warfare I'm gonna be able to do it consistently with things I have planned but anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary it's coming to a wrap so we're also gonna be having a recruitment challenge and it's not gonna be a typical recruitment challenge you know send your three best gameplays uh, get a gameplay with a clan tag or anything like that it's gonna be a little bit different and I'm gonna talk about that hopefully in a dual com uh, sometime soon uh, hopefully we do it this weekend. I don't know when this video will be uploaded probably Sunday or Monday So I don't know a lot of missed opportunities this weekend, but it doesn't really matter moving forward advanced warfare It's gonna be a pretty good year and hopefully we can do a lot of big things Hopefully we can help you guys out and uh, I'm great. It's I'm glad to be here for a year Sorry, there's a few points where I kind of choked But yeah, just expect a lot of great content if you guys want to join the team uh, anybody we're open to all councils or platforms or whatever uh, we'll get into that more in depth on the recruitment challenge I don't know that when that will be coming out but you know just be ready for not just getting regular gameplays or regular commentaries but a lot more in depth uh, involved concept of that so anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty sick gameplay and make sure to subscribe for more content maybe make sure to go check out my channel in the link description and in the sub box and my name is Imperler I'll see you guys later